you have to believe that he will do exceedingly and abundantly and more than you could ever even grasp the idea of. A lot of the times the true test of having faith comes when we are in our lowest moments. Hey y'all, my name is Renisha and you're watching Runless TV. First and foremost, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, follow me on my social media. Right here, right here. So let's get into it. Today we're going to be talking about faith and what faith means and how you can have faith in your spiritual journey with God. Y'all already know I start these spiritual Sunday videos with a scripture. So I'm going to start off with Hebrews 11 verses 1 and it states, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. And again, that is Hebrews 11 verses 1. Faith. What is faith? Faith is the assurance that the things revealed and promised in the word are true, even if it's unseen. Saying that you have faith and actually having faith is two separate things. And we sometimes get those two mixed up. When we trust in God, we choose faith over fear. You can't have fear and faith. It just doesn't work. That's not how it works. How are you gonna say, I have faith in God that he's gonna do this for me, but I'm worried about how the bill's gonna get paid. I'm worried about how I'm gonna move on from this tragic moment in my life. I'm stressing over, how am I gonna do this? How was I having faith? You don't have faith? You still worry, you still down. You're not rest assured in his word. <laughs> Believing and having faith is not just with words, it's with actions. So you can't live your life saying that you have faith and then doubting, not believing. Y'all, my dog is knocking at the door. Hold on. So I had everybody since you had to come in right when I was filming. Every time I'm filming, she has to come in my room. She has to be there. I don't know why she's like that, but I guess she can just sense when I'm filming a video. Another scripture that I feel relates to this message is Proverbs chapter three, verses five through six. And it states, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. This is one of my favorites, so I'm gonna restate it again. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. And that was Proverbs chapter three, verses five through six. Another thing is a lot of people like to define faith as praying, studying the word, going to church, doing the regular things that you should do as a believer. But that doesn't mean that you have faith. <laughs> That is not an indicator that you have faith. Those are things that you can do to build a relationship with God, but that doesn't mean that you have faith in him. Faith comes by hearing the word of God and believing that it is true and acting upon what you hear. If God tells you, you need to quit this job. I have a plan. I know you don't see it. I have a plan. You need to quit this job. And you're over here like, God, did you just tell me to quit my job? Did you just, did you just tell me to quit my job? I don't have another source of income. I have kids. I have a house that I have to pay for. I have things that I need to pay for on the daily. People with faith are gonna go, God told me to quit my job. So you know what I did? I quit my job and he provided everything that I needed. I was able to start my business and it flourished. And I was making four times as much as I would 
at my regular job that I had at that point in time. But people who don't have faith would have been like, nah, God, I'm not going to quit my job <laughs> because what you don't see is that I don't have money and I don't have this and I don't have that and I don't have this. So there's no possible way that I could fulfill this dream and this promise that you have for my life with no resources. I'm not doing that. You can't have faith in God and not believe what he is telling you to be true. In order to have faith, you have to believe. If you don't believe, you don't have faith. <laughs> you have to believe that he will do exceedingly and abundantly and more than you could ever even grasp the idea of. Like, <laughs> I promise you, like, you have this thought of what he can do, but the amount that God can do for you is beyond your imagination. And that's crazy to me. A lot of the times, the true test of having faith comes when we are in our lowest moments. Oh, I just got like a little teary-eyed for a sec. Because when you are in a low place in your life, when you are at rock bottom, there's nothing else you can do but have faith in God. There's nothing else. That's when he will test you the most to see if you really believe in him. Y'all, I'm, I'm getting to your eye. Whoa. 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 When you've lost your job, when you've been through that divorce, when you've been going through mental and emotional problems, when you're at your lowest, when you're at your rock bottom, when all your friends are gone, when you're at that point, do you say, I know I'm going through this situation right now, but despite what I see and what I know is going on in my life, God is going to bring me through that. I remember in high school, I went through one of my lowest points of my life. I went through depression. I was alone. It was about a year that I, would, I felt like I was just at my rock bottom. It was just me and God at that point. And I remember God telling me, you're gonna get through this. But this is your time to be by yourself. He said, don't go searching for somebody to make you happy. Don't go searching for other things. Don't go leaning on other things outside of me. <laughs> and it was definitely hard because at that point I didn't have anybody. I didn't have anybody to talk to. I didn't have any friends. I didn't feel like my family was able to understand what was going on with me. I didn't know anything but to lean on God. So I did the things that I would normally do, which was praise dance which was go to church, sing in the choir, be involved in the church, um, and be with God. When I tell you, <laughs> God is so great. When I tell you, he brought me out of that situation and I saw things in a whole new perspective. Things changed in my life from that point. And while I still go through things, and while I still have problems that may come up, while I still go through trials and tribulations in my life, I think about that moment and how God was telling me to have faith and trust in him, that it's gonna be okay. And if I had of doubted him, if I had of not listened to what he was telling me, if I had of just had fear that I wasn't gonna make it, I, don't, I would have been a totally different person. One of the scriptures states, and without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Hebrews 11, verses six. An important thing to God is your faith in him. You cannot please God unless you have faith in him. How is he gonna bless you if you don't have faith in him? He's not gonna wanna bless you if you don't believe and trust in his word, if you don't believe that he will do the things that he said he was gonna do. You can't doubt God and 
and have faith like what the last scripture that i feel relates to this message states because you have so little faith truly i tell you if you have faith as small as a mustard seed a mustard seed you can say to this mountain move from here to there and it will move nothing will be impossible for you and again that was matthew 17 verses 20. do you know how small a mustard seed is having faith in your life nothing will be impossible for you ask yourself do i have faith that god will fulfill the plans that he has for my life this concludes my video thank you guys for watching i love you guys stay blessed and i'll see you guys in my next video